Andy Samberg's on Saturday Night Live. Used to be on Saturday Night Live. Now he's on a show, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, on the FX channel. But when he was on Saturday Night Live, and when you think about Saturday Night Live, it's pretty daunting. 18 live shows a year. It's been going on for 40 years. They have a, they have a show starts at 11.35 on Saturday night, goes to 1 o'clock Sunday morning. They have the cast party. They all come to sometime Monday, roll back into 30 Rockefeller Center and go, Who's the guest host this week? Who's the musical talent? What's going on in the news? Let's put a show together, write it up, and boom, away they go, and Saturday they've got to put it together and put it on. And they're throwing it together as they go through the week. And a reporter watching this maelstrom of activity going on said to Andy Samberg, how do you get ready to go on Saturday Night Live? How do you get ready to do this? Andy Samberg's answer is a leadership lesson for us. He said, we don't go on because we're ready. We go on because it's 11.30. We don't go on because we're ready. We go on because it's 11.30. Now, you've been sitting out there, and at this conference for the last two days and for tomorrow, you've been thinking about things you've got to do. You've been thinking about things you've got to fix, a process you've got to improve, a person you've got to work with, a leadership connection you've got to make and get better at, a supplier you've got to have a better connection with. You've thought of things you're going to do things you want to fix when you get back home, and you're not going to do them. Between now and the time you get home, you're going to talk yourself out of it. And you're going to talk yourself out of it because you're going to wait for that thing that never comes. You're going to wait for the perfect time. I'll do it next quarter. I'll do it next cycle. I'll do it when I move those people out of the section and put the new people in and get the new hire. I'll do it next year and you'll never get around to it. In a year from now, you'll be sitting back at this conference going, I meant to get around to that. My advice to you is take Andy Sandberg's advice and tell yourself, shut up, it's 11.30, start something. It won't be perfect. It won't be magical and fact-free and worry-free. But you'll have gotten the reputation of a person that sees something has to get done and you'll get it done, you'll begin the process of doing it. You're not waiting for that perfect time that doesn't come.